Wait, the Megalodon actually waited till the Kraken showed up, and now it's... Okay, it just rammed into the side of us. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, alarms are going off. Okay, so we're ready to embark on our journey here to hunt some of the most dangerous sea creatures here in Stormworks, and we're gonna do it with the help of this fine sub from the movie Atlantis The Lost Empire. So as you can see, this thing is mounted with machine guns on the top. There's like cannons on the sides. Uh, so we're gonna try to do this solo, but maybe here in the future I can get a buddy and we can uh, do a little bit of hunting in a sub, but let's get down into it real quick and uh, check this thing out and get it moving. By the way, as always, uh, if you want to download this creation, it's linked down in the description. I think we need to get it away from the dock. It's actually lagging a little bit, but I think it's because it's basically uh, on the bottom of the dock at the moment. Okay, open up the airlocks. Oh my goodness. Uh, not gonna lie, it's been forever since I've seen the movie, so I have like no real reference as to what I'm looking at. But yeah, it's looking really cool. Is this a vehicle inside of here? This kind of looks like a little uh, vehicle. Dude, that's actually awesome, and it looks like back here, uh, we have potentially, is this like a mini sub? Or this might actually be the reactor. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the reactor systems here. And then boiler systems are on. There we go. Uh, danger. Oh. Okay, yeah, we probably don't want to mess with that. Dude, this looks so cool in here. I love the lighting effects. So it looks like we have medical facilities uh, to the left and to the right. Actually, there's an equipment room. Uh, might potentially be, I think there's like a, a maybe a mini sub in here. Uh, the only thing uh, that really caught my attention in the description was the whole fact that there was realistic damage, uh, which affects the systems, and it has weapons to fight sea creatures. Okay, everything appears to be on here. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, turn that on. Oh, there's the sonar. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need that. All right, let's head out to the bridge. The bridge is really cool looking, like check this out. All right, it did say that we can man this with one person. I uh, never know, we might need help in the future here. Well, honestly, I think she's ready to go. Let's go ahead and accelerate up here. Okay, so we appear to be moving. Everything looks pretty good. Stabilizers are on. We've got uh, the electric motor throttle up here. There is a high speed throttle over here. Uh, so there's an emergency surface. Uh, button we might actually need that at some point so if we look over here the ballast is to the left we've got a beacon locator might want to turn that on there uh there's flares on the side uh seabed light let's go ahead and activate those and then we have the dive angle here okay so we want to get to a fairly deep ocean looks like we're aimed towards uh one of the big islands up here so let's go ahead and turn out to the right it looks fairly empty over here okay let's go ahead and start to fill the ballast uh, oh, okay, that had a noise. I guess we're getting ready to dive here. Let's go ahead and activate the dive angle down. Dude, that's so awesome looking. Okay, uh, let's just give it a second. Hey, there it goes. It's diving down. So we have a, a depth hold uh, that I can activate. I don't know where the sea floor is. Should probably pay attention. Dude, this is so cool looking. Uh, definitely a very impressive uh, submarine here. Hey, okay, looking down, we are already like extremely deep. Uh, I'm gonna stabilize it here in a second that way hold on let's go ahead and move our dive angle up uh, To zero here. Oh, I think I see the sea floor. No, maybe seems like it's illuminating off of something in the bottom Do we have uh, a sensor? Let's see. We're a uh, hundred meters down the sea. Okay. The seabed is another 80 meters down So let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna lower down some more uh, honestly, this is extremely easy to use. Uh, a couple little things you just got to pay attention to once you get into uh, the actual sub, but this is not bad. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, I think we'll get about maybe 50 meters off the bottom, and then I think we'll stabilize there and we'll begin our hunt. I need to go look at the cannons on the side. That would be the one big advantage if you're fighting sea creatures is the ability to have people ready to go at the cannons. All right, come on, get closer to the 50 mark, and then I'm going to stop there. Because obviously it's going to probably move around. Yeah, as soon as you release the adjust, uh, the depth hold, like, it's so stable. Like, it's, okay, I think we're good. Actually, I still can't even see the seafloor. Okay, let's drop down maybe an additional 15 meters. Uh, it's definitely illuminating off something on the bottom, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, let's go to 35. 35 is there. Uh, not going to lie, kind of creepy down here. Okay, I think we are at our position we want to be at. Uh, I could somewhat see the sea floor down there, so it's not bad. Uh, we could use a flare real quick. I wonder how many flares are in this thing. If it's just one or we got multiple loaded up. Uh, okay, so let's go check, look for equipment. Uh, looks like we have hazmat. There's some diving equipment. I know there's doors. There's ways to actually ramp out of here. 
uh, with the different equipment that's in here, which is a, a really cool feature. Okay, let's go and prep some equipment here. We have uh, some torches. I uh, might want to have... Actually, I think we just need the normal well torch here. Uh, just in case we receive some damage. Let's see, that all looks good. Probably better put some thermal clothing on. I imagine it's going get, to get a little cold down here. All right, so there is a deck below us. Uh, let me go ahead and get down there. I think that's the way to get to the actual cannons. Uh, here we go. So we have side access here. Dude, this is a whole other level down here. Uh, a little warm here because I think we're close to the reactor itself. Uh, oh, yeah, that's definitely it. Uh, oh, you can see out the side. Not going to lie, it's uh, moments like this that kind of make Stormworks magical uh, in subs, like when you're pretty deep underwater. Uh, here is the turret. All right, there is airlocks on these. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Okay, so check this out. Boom, we can toggle the seat. This is going to put us up in the actual turret itself. Uh, we're going to hit one to turn on. Oh, you can see the sun setting. Okay, one turns on a spotlight. Oh, yeah, we can move it back and forth. I'm assuming space bar. Would that fire it? Uh, there's a reload button. Move it up and down. Uh, see if we can fire this bad. Oh, there we go. Okay, it is space. Oh, look at the shells floating up. All right, let's go ahead and make sure these things are <laughs> reloaded up. All right, so we got those. We do have some top turrets. I uh, haven't quite figured out how to get to those yet, uh, but this is good. Uh, it just takes a second to get into these because you have to toggle the seat to be able to see. But if something's ramming in the side of us, I definitely think we'll be able to take them on. Okay, looking around here, we've got some crew quarters. Looks like a kitchen area. We're going to the front of the ship. I think there's something below the bridge uh, itself. Also, uh, let's pay attention to the pings on the sonar. I'm assuming it'll pick up if there's something getting close here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I have control of the spotlights, so let's go and aim them down a little bit. Dude, that's creepy. Folks, is there something pinging off? Okay, front right. All right, so there's us. Uh, there's something out to the right here. Is it? Oh, I see a little. No way, it's that little fish. Um, okay, keep looking. Uh, whatever it is, it is. It's really close. Um, oh, is it below us or above us? Hold on, I see. No, those are stars. Okay, hold on. Let's use a flare. Oh my goodness, that's bright. Uh. Oh. Uh-oh. That, not gonna lie, that was the creepiest thing I think I've ever seen. Okay, we have a Megalodon. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, let's get into... Actually, it's gonna be hard to determine which side it's gonna appear on. Yep, this will be definitely the time to have communication from the crew. Um, all right, let's get down. Uh, I might need to use photo mode here on. Let's just get up in the cannon. Uh, we could take this thing on. All right, so see, it's activating. Uh, the flare might have been a mistake, but it did light up. That was creepy seeing that in the front. Okay, look around. Oh, no. Which side is it on? Oh, dude, it's right in front of us. Okay, hold on. Turn to the cannons. Uh, there we go. Oh, dude, we just blasted it. Uh, did we kill it, though? Um, okay, I see blood in the water. Oh, we just moved it. It is actually trying to get away from us right now. It's on the other side. Okay, uh, let's activate the seat. Let's go down to the other side real quick. Okay, run, 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 run. Let's get over there. Uh, open up this. Uh, good thing is you can lock these down, so uh, there is definitely safety measures in place. Uh, all right, come on. Let's see if it's over on this side. Is it going to be right in front of us? Oh, it's... Okay, so it's hovering around the front of the ship. It actually hasn't gone in for an attack, which is something. Also, that flare totally landed right in the bridge. Where'd it go? Okay, I can see it moving. Um... Oh, yeah, it's definitely right in front of us here. Uh, let's go and open fire again. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. We're getting good shots off on it right now. Dude, this thing might be the ultimate Meg hunting sub. Also, we, yeah, we're lighting it up, and she's not dying. How many shots is this going to take? Okay, it's moving to the rear of the ship. It actually hasn't gotten super aggressive and tried to attack us. Nope, nope, nope. It's definitely turning. Okay, that's not good. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Megalodon just hover around something like this. Yo, what's its malfunction here? Okay, you know what? Let's go down. Uh, is it not? No, there definitely should be attacking this. It's almost like it's waiting or something. Uh, you think it's waiting on it, buddy? Go, 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 go. All right, that's the airlock to the main area. Hold on, this is, looks like a little, uh, thing that we can ride up to the top turret. Not gonna lie, this is so nifty. Alright, so it slides right up to the top. Um, where'd it go? Okay, looking around, it seems that the Megalodon... 
Uh oh. Okay, we need to turn. There's a Kraken right there. Okay, ready? And wait. Open fire. Uh oh. I I cannot see it. Wait, the Megalodon actually waited till the Kraken showed up, and now it's okay. It just rammed to the side of us. Uh oh. Okay, uh, alarms are going off. Uh, I where'd the Kraken go? Oh no no no! They're both gonna hit us at the same time here, dude. That's crazy. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's get down. Uh oh. Um, do I have a flashlight here? What's what's going on? Okay, jump down. Oh, buddy, that is a... Is that water just pouring in? Okay, hold on. Let's seal the airlocks down here. I think maybe there's some water coming in from the cannon. Okay, airlock. Uh, we got to figure out how to refire the uh, system up here. I think the generator is in the front. Let's go ahead and close some doors. Dude, not going to lie. This is super creepy. Uh, okay, come on. Okay, I think we can fire everything up here. There's uh, breaker boxes and stuff right over here. Okay, those are still on. So it's the breakers. Oh, and cycle the breakers. Okay, all those. Dude, that's so cool. Alright, they're all back on. Alright, stability's on. Uh, pumps are on. Okay, let's make sure we're draining the ballast here. We do not want to be filling that bad boy up. Okay, look around. Where did... Okay, I see the crack into the right side. Alright, this is probably the time to start moving here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, try to get away from this. Okay, I'm gonna need another flare here. Flare up. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, uh, Megalodon's below us. Kraken is now getting ready to try to pull us back under. Dude, I don't think there's really... Oh, no, no, no. It's going to go for the back. Wait. Uh, that might be a good or bad thing. Uh, will it get chopped up? It's actually interacting with the uh, propellers back there. Oh, no. Okay, it is now wrapped up in the back. Is it doing damage? Uh, I I don't think it can actually get to the propellers. That's, that's a good thing. All right. Uh, let's activate the high-speed throttle. And let's try to push this thing off real quick. Come on, baby. I think it's having problems holding on. Okay, come on. All the way. All right, both of those are up. We are now... Okay, we're getting good speed on it. There it goes. Okay, we might want to try to tend while we're uh, getting away from this thing. Let's see if we can tend to some of, the, uh, some of the holes in the side. Is it actually taking on water? I mean, that's definitely... I don't know, maybe it's dual layer. No, why would we have damage here? Okay. Uh, let's get the torch out real quick. See if we can repair some of the wall of this thing. Uh, steam condenser. Let's uh, let's get stuff that looks like it actually might be important. Okay, let's just keep going, keep going. Uh, repair the floor. Are we taking on water down here? Hold on, look around. Uh, I think the bilge pumps, I think everything's doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping this thing from going down right now. This is good. Okay, look around. Uh, okay, turn the cannons. I hear it again. Uh, wait for it to appear. I bet the spotlight. I don't think it matters. That flare is so bright. Does a good job. Oh, it's right there. Okay, here we go. Uh, start firing rounds at it. Uh, come on. I Dude, we gotta be hitting it. Oh, yeah, we're definitely... No, we're missing it. The rounds, they're too... Wait, no, we clipped it there. Hold on. Aim it down a little bit. Uh, we're clipping it, but I don't know if it's doing enough damage. I need you to go ahead and just die. There it goes. Okay, that was a good hit right there. Okay, we need to go back down. You know, honestly, it feels like they've made the thing stronger. Uh, we might have had enough of, like, trying to fight this thing. Maybe we should do an emergence. Is that water? Uh, or is that a graphical? No, that's water in the bottom of this. Okay, we are slowly taking on water here. Okay, look for it. Let's see, we have an emergency surface button. Let's hit this real quick. There it goes. I don't know what the heck it's doing, but we are going straight up. We're taking on a lot of water right now. All right, let's throttle all the way back up. Okay, and full speed or high speed throttle up. Let's just uh, escape the area and boom. We are cert. Oh, yeah, okay, we're still servicing. I thought maybe it was going to struggle here. Uh, we're taking on a ton of water, so we should probably turn towards land. That doesn't mean the Kraken still can't grab us here. Like, there's a chance that it. Oh, I hear it. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know how well that emergency. Okay, can I turn that off? Will it. Is it slowing me down? Okay, I think that might have been. No. Yeah, it was slowing me down. All right, we're picking up speed. Nobody grabbed us again. Okay, we got to keep that active. All right, emergency surface. Keep it on. Uh, we got to try to stay level here. So that emergency surface is able to somewhat fight the Kraken and try to keep it up. But yeah, we're not in a winning fight here. There is an island to the left. I'm going to try to turn this thing. It is doing a lot of damage to the side. All right, let's go check the uh, the flood. Okay, we might want to start thinking about a plan B here. Uh, what What is this area? 
Oh, it's like a, a chart room. Okay, no, no, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we need to go up here, I think. Okay, so there's an airlock in here. I saw what appears to be... No, that's the airlock to the outside. There was like these little doors on the top side of this thing. I thought maybe it was some sort of a escape. I know there's a crane somewhere in here. Okay, emergency surface is up. I'm going to go ahead and put the depth hold as high as it'll go. Um, it is not moving fast at all anymore. Yeah, I think it, it's struggling. I think it's the water it's taking on. If we're going to escape, this might be the best time to open up the air hatch and get out of here. Okay, uh, yes, uh, diving equipment. That is what we need. All right, get rid of the thermal. Uh, we want to get this before the uh, the old Kraken hits us again. Yeah, because if it pulls us down again, there's a chance that we are not going to be able to get up out of this. Yeah, look down. There is definitely water coming into the main area here. So let's go ahead and uh, hit that on. Let's seal this again. Let's go ahead and try to give the sub a good chance. Oh, there it goes. All right. Uh, glow sticks out. Uh, there we go. Got our flashlight. That's not really helping us a whole lot. It is... Not gonna lie, creepy. There goes the sub. The sub's going down. But to be honest, we have a fishing vessel coming right for us. Hey, buddy. Uh, you think we can get a rescue here? Uh, I don't know if they're intending to get this close to us, but do you have a side? Oh, I got it. <laughs> Holy man, we did it. We actually grabbed onto an AI boat here. Uh, there we go. Get a couple little uh, glows. I think that is our sub uh, that we are passing right now. Uh, yeah, you know, that's actually a first. I don't think I've ever been able to do this. Hello, Captain. Um, will you take me to safety? 